Welcome back to The David Pakman Show. Welcome back to the show. Please consider supporting The David Pakman Show through an individual membership, like our good friend who I want to say hello to, Louis, John Shunk. John is a relatively new David Pakman Show member, really doing his part to uh, sustain and grow the show. I mean, a lot of people don't know, but really the, the show is mostly funded by individual memberships like John Shunk's. And, um, you know, many people talk about supporting grassroots independent media, alternatives to corporate media. But there's a very clear way to do it, which is by going to davidpackman.com slash membership and, and signing up today. So thanks to John. Absolutely. Thank you. And of course, if you are looking for alternative ways to support the show, you can do all of your Amazon.com shopping by clicking on the black banner at davidpackman.com. You click on it, you bookmark it, you use it whenever you shop at Amazon, and you will also be helping to support the show that way. I know this may sound funny, but the Vatican has launched a probe, and that's, those are certainly scary words to many, uh, the Vatican doing any probing at all. Right. The particular type of probe is a criminal probe into, I know this is going to be a letdown for many, into leaks, the leaking of confidential documents that alleged corruption and financial mismanagement and exposed uh, power struggles within the Catholic Church. What about the molestation? That's really what they should be probing. Well, what about the, the alleged corruption that has been leaked? Of course, that's also not the issue. You know, the they, issue is, they just want to find out how this information get, got out to make sure it doesn't happen again. Right. Let's not take care of the problem that was leaked. Let's go after the people who showed that there is a problem. Is there any difference between politicians and the Catholic Church? If no. there is, I can't see it. No, not at all. And let's, by the way, ignore and cover up. Well, the, I mean, except for the fact that... Um, you know, many members of the church uh, are interested in little boys, whereas many politicians are interested in prostitutes. That would be basically the only difference. Uh, okay. Uh, well, there's an idea from Lewis. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't. I might. I, I don't know that I agree with you completely. I think there might be more crossover than you think. Uh, perhaps. I yeah. think there is a history of, um, of, of uh, <laughs> indulging in prostitution within the Catholic Church, and there is also a, a history of. Uh, being interested in people at least legally too young for you to be with, as we've seen in, in the House of Representatives, too. That's true. That is true. So, again, not any focus on what was leaked, a focus on who did the leaking, and almost no focus at all on, um, on, on exploring the molestation and abuse, but certainly a lot of interest in covering that up. Right. Much like, uh, much like WikiLeaks, um, you know, paint, uh, paint Assange as uh, a villain, focus the entire story on him and uh, never talk about what actually was released. Well, it's interesting because some are referring to this as uh, Vati leaks, the Vatican leaks, uh, referencing WikiLeaks. And Pope Benedict XVI himself has set up a so-called special commission to shed light on the so-called Vati leaks scandal because he was so distressed by the disloyalty shown by those who leak the memos. Uh, Monsignor Angelo Becciu and uh, also, uh, 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 according to uh, Monsignor Angelo Baccio, told the uh, Vatican newspaper. So he's really, really distressed by the fact that someone might reveal the horrible things going on within the Catholic Church. He's not at all distressed by what is going on within the actual Catholic Church. Right, right. Uh, no surprise, really. Should, Natan, should the, the Catholic Church lose nonprofit status? Um, nonprofit status worldwide. Is that what you're talking sure, about? Sure. Yeah. Or at least within the U.S. Because of this? No, just in general, because of everything. Right. I, I don't know if I can make that claim. I'd have to look more, more deeply into it, but I, I'm going to make that claim. Right. Uh, I mean, then you basically, what you're saying is they don't qualify as a religion. I'm not saying they don't qualify as a religion just because of all this, of, of all this, uh, Michigas, they should be, they should not have tax free. Forget the Michigas. If you are advocating for uh, policy, I believe that that is political activity. And the Catholic, Catholic Church has been very clear about advocating on issues related to birth control and abortion. And that is connected with political policy. It goes beyond simply religion. And this applies to, to so many churches above and beyond the Catholic Church. This is just one of the bigger ones that absolutely we need to review this non nonprofit tax exempt status for, for, for uh, religions. No question about it. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 